Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. What I'm going to do today here I think is a first for me and what I'm going to do is a unboxing of the Legendary Whitetails Buck Rub Pocket Knife. And so this pocket knife I did purchase from Legendary Whitetails. This is brand new in box. And it's a type of knife It's very similar to the Swiss Army knife. Um, and this particular model is I think what it's meant to be a clone of. So this is the Victorinox uh, Spartan. And so it's a very common Swiss Army knife. And so we have really two extremes here. I've never seen this knife in person, uh, but I'm going to compare it to the original Victorinox Spartan, the Swiss Army knife that we all know and love. This particular one is an REI exclusive, but again, the same tools, same function. Um, so of course, at the high end, we have the originals here. And of course, anyone who's owned one of these, they have a very nice crisp opening. Blade is lovely. Hear that snap. Very nice. Uh, so this is at the high end right here. So this is what you expect when you buy a Swiss Army knife. Right next to it up here, we have kind of the low end. And now this is a poor example, but this is the type of Swiss Army knife clone you would buy or you would receive. Like this particular model is a freebie that you get when you join the NRA. And so it's, you know, lowest bidder made and it is made in China. So it has similar tools but it just does not have quite the same quality. When you open the tools, they're rough, they're gritty. You can see there's a lot of flex in each of these blades and tools. Uh, it just doesn't inspire the same confidence as the original Swiss Army knife does. So I'm hoping this knife, brand new out of box, is going to be closer in quality to the Swiss Army knife than the cheapy no-name knockoff brand because the Swiss Army knife honestly it probably has to be one of the most cloned knives out there because you can find copies of them from everywhere from the Dollar Tree to your local gas station and um, unless it's the name brand they're not going to be very great so let's check this one out and see how it works so we'll do a comparison so right out of package let me just pull the box out <clears throat> here is the box so simple markings, legendary white tails, uh, buck rub pocket knife. Of course, we can see it's also imported uh, wood. So this one does have wood scales. And so if you ever shopped at legendary white tails before, they do sell a lot of deer hunting themed items, a lot of outdoor clothing and gear. And so this is where I saw it, you know, because I do buy some um, flannel shirts from there occasionally. They're pretty good quality. So I saw this knife and decided to also pick it up because it's kind of tied into what I do on my channel here. So let's check out the Buck Rub pocket knife. All right, so let's take a closer look at it. You can see the markings on it, legendary. So the wood scales actually, they look pretty nice. Check out this side here. So we have this painted on drawing. We can see a deer. And so this isn't going to please everybody. This won't be everyone's style. And I'm not a deer hunter or anything, but I can appreciate something that's really nicely made. So before I even open the tools, I do like how it looks. It feels good in the hand. Um, it has the same little key ring that we have on the original. So check out the size comparison here. Again, this looks to be very much a clone of the Spartan, which isn't a bad thing, of course, but let's open it up and find out. <clears throat> so we do have the blade right here, and you can take a closer look. There we go. So polished blade. China markings, stainless. So the markings are actually identical to what we're seeing on the cheapy knife here. Any play? Uh, not as much as the NRA knife, but a little bit more than the original. So got a snap there. Let's check out each of these tools. Ooh, I like the crisp snap on the bottle opener. That is nice. Okay, we have the small blade here. So let's test sharpness a little bit. Okay, so it cuts. I 
Uh, it, it's sharp. It's got an edge on there, but not nearly as sharp as the Victorinox original knife. We have the corkscrew. And this nice little piece here. Ooh, kind of a different shape. Let's compare these two. So you can see that there. A little bit wider. Probably made it so easier to grip. So interesting. Now what I noticed is missing on this knife, at least I'm not seeing it outright, there are no tweezers, no toothpick, so the ends here are just as you see it. So the wood scales on this knife, and this knife in general, this cost about 25 bucks. And uh, you're going to pay more for shipping, but usually they have some kind of a coupon code if you look around so you can get free shipping from this site. Um, so $25 and you get a pocket knife that's a clone of the Spartan here, uh, but it has wood scales. And not only wood scales, but it has this very nice pattern on it. So we have the legendary logo, which you have to like that if you buy this, of course, because it's a big old billboard. Um, but what I really think is cool is the, actually the picture of the deer on the back. Um, so that's kind of cool. So quality is pretty much middle of the road, what I expected it to be. Um, not bad. This is way ahead of the cheapy NRA knife over here. But let's compare weight on these two knives also. So let's get you out of here. Okay, let's see. So the original authentic knife is 2.1 ounces, exactly, compared to this wooden handled variant. 2.63, so it is a little heavier. Honestly, when I was handling it, I, I wanted to say that this one felt lighter than the original. So that's kind of interesting to see. Uh, but again, if you like Swiss Army knives and you are a deer hunter and this is your thing, I think you might like this knife as well. But if you prefer the originals and you still like the wooden handles, uh, if you look on Amazon right now, they do have a wooden handled Spartan for about $31, $32 shipped with Prime. So that would be a good option for you. And their version of this knife <clears throat> does still have the toothpick and the tweezers. So I was a little disappointed. I could have swore it said in the, in the uh, description that it had a toothpick and tweezers on here. So maybe I'm just not seeing it. No, I don't think it's in there. But again, take one more closer look at the blade. Check that out. I think when it says just stainless on it, it's kind of cheapy. Kind of screams low quality there. But other than that, I can't really complain. Looks like a solid knife. Has most of the tools you're going to get on the original, if not the toothpick or tweezers. So if that's a make or break deal for you, then by all means, um, stay away from this one. But overall, not a bad unboxing. Uh, if you're buying this as a gift, I think the presentation could have come a little better. The box is pretty simple. Not something most of us look for, though. I'm just kind of getting nitpicky here. Um, but if you guys have any questions about this knife, feel free to ask me, and I'll do my best to answer in the comments below. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.